Countries far from Europe and North America are joining NATO leaders at their gathering this week. Australia, Japan, New Zealand and South Korea are all attending. They are NATO's formal partner countries in the Indo-Pacific, known as the Indo-Pacific Four or IP4. NATO has stepped up cooperation with Indo-Pacific partners in the past few years. But what's behind the interest? The Indo-Pacific is important for the alliance given that developments in that region can directly affect Euro-Atlantic security. The IP4 grouping burst onto the global stage in 2022. In recent years, the alliance has signaled its growing worry with China's strategic direction and assertiveness. NATO members identified China as a potential threat from the first, for the first time in 2022. It said Beijing poses systemic challenges to Europe. NATO believes ongoing dialogue can help enhance their mutual situational awareness of security developments in the Indo-Pacific region. But it's not just all talk. In recent years, we've seen some stepped up European engagement in the Indo-Pacific, most notably the U.S. and U.K.'s involvement in the AUKUS project to provide nuclear-powered submarines to Australia. The IP4 are holding a session at the NATO summit today. On the agenda are concerns about threats posed by China, on the dispute over Taiwan, as well as worries about China's stepped-up security ties with Russia and North Korea.